running to Fortitude today. Um, it is near Regent's Park, so I'm actually picking up a friend on the way, and we're gonna run uh, down through like Euston, King's Cross, which will be nice, because it'll be quiet, because it's early morning on a Saturday. And yeah, be good. So I forgot to charge my microphone today, so I'm actually gonna do a voiceover. Um, because I have a feeling you guys won't be able to hear me. With me, on a... I don't know what that was. Um, around to Fortitude. It, it is so good. Um, I went for a sausage roll for Ollie and a almond croissant. It wasn't really a croissant, it was more like a, a square. Brought my friend along. Um, he's actually the OG of running in my life. Um, I like to call him Grumpy Brad. Um, he may contest that, but yeah, he basically got me into running. Um, he founded my lost soul in Victoria Park and took me on. Um, sort of showed me that life is more than a 5k. And it's also more than just a PB every single time you run. Um, so anyway, he came along my run. Basically, on this run, I sort of want to talk about heart rate because um, it's something that either people know quite a lot about or people try and go off or people have heard on the grapevine about this heart rate that, you know, you should have or you shouldn't have. Oh my God. My dog is asleep and that is the worst fart I've ever smelled. Sweet God. You have... I'm concerned that my dog just pooed itself. Oh my goodness. Wait, let me just take... What the hell just came out of your bottom? You know that smell. Look at that face. Oh my God. Anyways. Heart rate, heart rate, heart rate, heart rate, heart rate. Um, yeah, I sort of want to talk about heart rate because for ages I tried to understand the realm. Basically, I'll break down my weekend by um, Saturday and Sunday. I interchange them. Um, I am someone that believes in a plan, um, but I don't believe in, you know, it being super, super rigid. You obviously know I'm not a professional athlete. Um, I have life outside of running. And I think, you know, if you get it done on a Saturday um, or a Sunday, if you're changing them around for a long run or a hard run, I don't think it's the end of the world. So to find out your heart rate zones, you'll need your high heart rate. Um, that's when you're exerting the most effort um, and then also that's calculated with your age um, so I'm gonna link below a good calculator that I use um, that just does it for you I mean you can use the formula um, but yeah I'll link below um, so basically my zones I have a really low heart rate um, so my resting heart rate usually sits between 35 and 40, um, which is quite low. Um, I think because of my swimming background, um, I have always had quite a low heart rate. Swimmers are quite known for that. Um, it doesn't mean anything bad, it doesn't mean anything good. Um, it's just one of those things that, you know, you factor in uh, when doing stuff like this. So just about to beat, just about to beat my friend. Um, I'm gonna pick him up. We've hit about 7K. Um, so time for a gel. I'm gonna have a gel now. And then um, probably have a salt tablet in a bit. 
typically for easy runs, so my Saturday runs, um, I'm doing time on feet um, and I'm doing heart rate. You know, if one person was to say, here's a training plan and um, you need to be going at this pace for, you know, so long. Well, someone, one, that pace could be extremely fast or that pace could be really slow for someone. Like for my plans, that's usually what I do. Um, my easy runs are always based around time on feet. I'll be in my zone two, and my heart rate in zone two needs to be between um, 135 and 145. Um, so what I like to do is I don't like to reach over 40. Um, so I keep um, my watch, um, once you put it on and start going on your run, you can just press down and that will um, allow you to just see your heart rate. I like to not go above 140, um, so I know that if I look down and I've been consistently on 145, I know I need to bring the pace down. Or what I'll tend to do is maybe I've just gone up a hill, I'll stop, I'll walk for a minute, make sure my heart rate's down, carry on. Um, that just means that you're not in any sort of stress mode. Um, so your body can recover really rapidly and I'll be fine for a long run the next day um, at a lot more intensity. Um, if you're constantly going at zone three, zone four, and you're doing long runs at those zones, then it means that your body's constantly under stress and it needs more time to repair. You're not gonna be ready for the next run. If you do the next run, it builds up and that's how injury happens. I always talk about it's okay to go off plan. Yes, it is okay to go off plan, but in the sense of, you know, maybe switching days around because you've got a big life event or, you know, if you're obviously ill, you take days off. It's sort of, when I talk about plans, I think they should be flexible. I don't think you should live your life, you know, don't beat yourself up because you missed one day out of two months. Um, it, it, you know, if you're not a pro athlete and you're not, not getting paid to do it, then it's, um, yeah, that's just life. Um, but in the sense of the actual plan and when you're running those runs, every time you go for a run, if you're running it like a PB, that is one sure way to get injured. Um, easy runs should feel easy. A good way to do this as well, if you don't want to go really technical and you're just starting out and running, is run with a friend on your easy runs and talk the entire time. It should be conversational level. But now onto the real stuff, the baked goods. Um, I'm just gonna insert a clip here. Hmm, slightly warm. Oh my goodness, the smell of this is insane. This looks good. So we've got a huge sausage roll. Um, this is for Ollie. And then we've got this amazing almond croissant um, for me. Yeah, where should I go to next week? 